welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to discuss on factors affecting adsorption capacity. Well, initially, you need to understand what is adsorbate. Adsorbate is cobalt, chromium, iron, phosphate, clean glutamic acid. On the other hand, adsorbent or surface are activated carbon, metal oxide, nanoparticles, zeolite, glass. While adsorption is a complex surface phenomena and it is mainly depend on solution properties as well as experimental conditions. The experimental conditions are contact type, concentration, solution means temperature, iron strength, inorganic or organic complexing agents then complete, competitively adsorbing is species. In the beginning contact time. Well contact time is an important factor on which adsorption capacity uh, depends and adsorption of most metal ion is initially rapid and then slowly increased until equilibrium is used. This behavior is attributed to the available adsorption sites on the surface while metal ions and contaminants are maximum in the initial stage. As contact time increased, remaining sites and driving foods between adsorbed and surface decreases will speak to a slower the process active saturation point is fixed. Then come solution pH. Solution pH is the most important factor affecting metal ion and anion adsorption on the surface from aqueous solution. pH not only changes the chemistry of the pollutant but also affects the surface charge of adsorbents. Cation adsorption increases with increasing pH from 0 to nearly 100%, over 100% over a relatively narrow pH range, while anion adsorption is greatest at low pH over variable charge surfaces. This is due to the charge. This is due to the change in charge on the surface as pH changes, with the surface having maximum positive charge at low pH and negative charge at high pH. Then comes initial concentration. Adsorption is dependent on adsorbent concentration, and this is fundamental feature of any isotherm experiment and Several modeling approaches have been developed to identify adsorption concentration relations. At low concentration, sufficient surface sites are available for the uptake. As a result, uptake is independent of the initial metal ion concentration. The fraction of removal from solution is for a fixed adsorbent content at a high concentration because of the decreased number of available adsorption sites on south street. Then comes temperature. Temperature is one of the most significant factors affecting surface adsorption process and increasing temperature may change the number of surface sites available for sorption and alter the diffusion rate of pollutants. The effect of temperature on adsorption can also provide global information on Absorption processes. Usually, adsorption of metal ion rises with increasing temperature, to, while anion absorption is found to decrease with temperature. Then, adsorption is an optimal process of the mineral is necessary to maximize the pollutant mineral interaction and influence of adsorption process. For pollutant removal has been studied by several research groups. Then ion ionic strength. Solution ion strength can have a substantial effect on activity or concentration relationship, thus affect 
solution process. And ionic stack is included in some surface complication models correct for non ideality effect in mass action calculations. As ionic stack increases at a given pace, the diffuse stair is compressed and the electrostatic potential gradient is increased, and thus the solvation energy of the surface becomes more critical. The presence of coexisting ions. The presence of coexisting ions such as nitrate chloride, sulfate phosphate could significantly affect sorption by changing surface parameters of surface and complete flux, this could then impact the binding of species. So during adsorption experiment, these parameters should be uh, considered. I will, in the next video, I will explain the effect of surface properties on adsorption capacity. Thanks for watching.